I can't imagine how they feel about losing their family. And I wish that we can all go back and change it. And I'm sorry for all the pain that I caused. My actions at that time were not reflective of who I was. That wasn't the person I was raised to be by my parents. I met Pastor Hetzel in uh, Waco County Jail. He was coming up there ministering to people. One of the things we talked about was my involvement in the crime. I saw him for just close to a year, as long as he stayed there. He, he had only been there just a few days when he asked to see me. As being an accomplice, he believed that he deserved what he was going to get. That was before he, he was went to trial. He was very sincere. And he, a longer life to show that you can still change and you can still make a positive influence. Brandon really needs to have a chance to continue his life. Uh, there's still things he can do with his life even in prison and the things that have happened are things that I think he can pay the price for while staying in prison. So I sat down and put my thoughts on paper and sent it to them and they told me that they were using that to go around and uh, testify to other youth about the uh, impact of, of just falling astray. It felt good. Any opportunity I could use to turn what situation I was in now, in being on death row, to help somebody else, then I had I had to take that out.